scenes on Saturday afternoon from Point Clark, Ontario, where numerous severe thunderstorms roll through the area, including the GTA. We did have some lake breeze boundaries set up those thunderstorms, and we are going to be seeing that continue for our Sunday as well. We are looking at some tornado watches in place from Sudbury, Sudbury all the way into Campus Gacy, as well as some severe thunderstorm watches for Barry into North Bay and for western sections of Quebec and that's all due to this hot and humid air mass that's producing lots of instability within our atmosphere so we are going to be seeing some severe storms continuing for our Sunday as well and throughout those sections in the north we do have the potential to see some supercells and that's why we could also foresee one or two tornadoes in those sections. So here's our risk graphic. Those areas highlighted in red, those areas could see that potentially severe storm with one or two tornadoes are possible. And even throughout the orange areas could be seeing very strong winds and heavy rainfall, potential for some hail as well. So we do have that low pressure moving through Northern Ontario. And then we are going to be seeing some more thunderstorm activity continuing throughout Southern Ontario, especially throughout the overnight as well as that cold front starts to move on through. So we're going to be seeing a couple of rounds of thunderstorms for today. Very high rainfall accumulations, upwards to 50 millimeters of rainfall throughout northern Ontario. We could be seeing roughly 20 millimeters throughout eastern Ontario. But we are going to be seeing that cold front move on through for our Sunday night into Monday throughout portions of uh, eastern Quebec and into the Maritimes, also looking at a non-severe risk for some thunderstorms. But in the west, Looking at a low pressure forming off the Rockies, creating some thunderstorm activity, non-severe in nature throughout Alberta. And that's going to create just some heavy rainfall at times, even throughout the eastern sections of the Rockies as well. And throughout BC, looking at a one or two shower for our Monday. And we could be seeing a bit more heavier rainfall throughout Tuesday. And we are looking and tracking Hurricane Ida as it is approaching to make landfall throughout Louisiana.